Now, this is a, a, a bit interesting uh, uh, slide because it is a, a sort of a synthesis of uh, what I have uh, presented so far. This is a study that uh, was published by the um, Australian Wine uh, Research Institute in 2007. Uh, and uh, they have, uh, you see uh, in the uh, x-axis, the, uh, the EN concentration from, the, from 100 to 500. Uh, and then in the uh, y-axis, uh, you see the uh, concentration of the uh, yeast aroma compounds uh, you know, by families. So we have uh, higher alcohols, uh, ethyl acetate uh, esters, uh, and uh, uh, fatty acids, uh, ethyl esters, and branched uh, chain esters. I just would like to uh, focus on the esters here, and uh, because uh, you know these are the uh, most, uh, probably the most important uh, aroma compounds for the aroma profile of the wines. You see that uh, by increasing the EN, uh, you have an increase of the esters, okay? Um, but uh, as I said earlier, uh, we need to uh, uh, find out what's the uh, uh, best uh, EN concentration, uh, because uh, if we uh, go too high, uh, in, uh, in concentration of some esters, uh, they can play a masking effect, uh, uh, as I as I said earlier. So I'm going to present uh, briefly two studies that uh, were published uh, by the Australian Wine, Wine Research Institute. Uh, this was the, uh, done on um, uh, Chardonnay, okay? And so here they um, <clears throat> quantified uh, uh, the uh, pretty much the same um, uh, families of uh, esters and uh, and some other compounds, okay? And also they did uh, the uh, sensory analysis uh, study. And so in the, in the, uh, the conditions, uh, according to uh, the conditions of the, uh, this uh, uh, study, they found out that uh, 300 milligrams per liter is the optimum EN uh, to produce uh, quality uh, aromas, okay? And uh, they did also the, um, a similar study on Shiraz wine, uh, and um, and the uh, conclusions are that the uh, the um, uh, concentration of uh, the, the, the sorry the EN can uh, influence the, uh, very importantly the production of uh, especially the, uh, the esters, okay, the uh, acetate and ethyl esters, which are known uh, to be positive to the uh, uh, to to, um, uh, to be uh, to uh, to give a positive uh, uh, impact on the uh, uh, wine aroma um, when uh, when in balance, of course. Okay. Again, uh, here you know if uh, you go too high in uh, uh, with the uh, EN, uh, you can have some masking effects, uh, as I said earlier. Uh, also, uh, very in interestingly, uh, they found uh, that the wine color and the uh, phenolics uh, compositions can also be influenced by the uh, EN. So the summary of the results of the uh, two studies that I just presented, uh, overall low EN levels juice uh, favor the production of more complex wines uh, with less uh, fruity aromas, whereas moderate uh, EN levels, they produce cleaner and fruitier wines. So we should go for the uh, moderate uh, uh, concentration of the uh, EN, uh, okay? And however high, uh, as I said a few times, high uh, EN levels can lead to excessively estery wines uh, with no aroma complexity. Now, the, fine, the last uh, family is the uh, varietal tiles, okay? So I'm gonna talk, uh, present the uh, nature and the uh, nomenclature. Uh, I start uh, with the, um, the uh, classes of impact uh, aromatic compounds in wine. So the uh, superior alcohols, uh, the esters uh, that I already uh, mentioned uh, uh, a few times, uh, the noisoprenoids, uh, the uh, terpenes, and uh, also the tiles have been uh, identified as uh, uh, impact uh, aromatic uh, compounds. And uh, the tiles, uh, they, also, they are also called, uh, as I said, varietal tiles. And but uh, I would like to say that uh, you know, from a chemical standpoint, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the chemical uh, group is uh, SH, functional group uh, SH, so sulfur hydrogen. And uh, from uh, like a chemical standpoint, uh, they are exactly the same as mercaptans. But I just have to say that in the uh, 
uh, let's say, the uh, enological jargon, uh, when we say tiles, uh, we think about something positive. Uh, when we say mercaptans, uh, it is something negative, like uh, linked uh, uh, to the uh, what we call the uh, uh, reduction uh, wine fault. Uh, but from the uh, chemical standpoint, uh, they are exactly the same. So in analogy, the term of...